All right, my name is Atricha Kulia and we're group two and our project is to design and implement effective self-archiving software tools that will make the depositing of digital contents to IRS easy and efficient. My role in this presentation is to briefly talk about the project description and the problem statement. But before I begin, I will define what self-archiving is and what institutional repositories are. So self-archiving is simply the depositing and storing of digital content in a, repos in a repository. Researchers uh, use self-archiving to store their scholarly work in IRS and to also make their work accessible to the community of their choosing. An institutional repository, on the other hand, is a specialized type of digital library that is used by higher education institutions to make available their scholarly research outputs. All right, so straight into the project description. The project we are working on as a team is meant to design effective self-archiving software tools that will improve the uptake of IR content in an attempt to reduce the long processes of depositing content to the IR at the University of Zambia. And this is to make uh, the depositing of content easy, efficient. And also, on the other hand, the tools that will be implemented will be used on any platform, meaning they will be web-based and mobile-based applications, so as to make the depositing of content by the authors easy, effective, and efficient. On the other hand, we've got the, st the statement of the problem. All right, so if you read the problem statement, you realize that there is a need to increase the uptake of digital content, and this will only be achieved by developing a clear or visible way of publishing content so that the authors who are publishing this content find it easy, effective, and most importantly, efficient to publish their scholarly work. All right, I'll leave it up to my next colleague who will present on the objectives and the research questions. Thank you. My name is Sharon Kangwa. The general objective of this project is to implement third-party self-archiving software tools that will increase the uptake of digital content in institutional repositories. Then we also have specific objectives that are associated to this project. So the first specific objective is to quantify the uptake of institutional repository content in the University of Zambia repository. Then the second objective is to design and implement user-friendly, easy to use and usable repository software tools. Then the third objective is to evaluate the usability of the self-archiving software tool. Then we also have the research questions that are associated to this project. The first research question outlines, how does the non-implementation of self-archiving strategies impact the uptake of content in institutional repository? Then the second research question is, is it feasible to design and implement effective and usable self-archiving tools? then I'm going to leave it to the next colleague who is going to present on the related work. Thank you. My name is Royce Manza. Um, three papers have been reviewed in this project. Uh, the first one is talking about self-archiving. Basically, it outlines the importance of self-archiving and how it makes, it helps people to be motivated to upload content in the institution repository and also, the second paper is talking about digital libraries. Uh, digital libraries are basically a collection of digital content. This paper shows how hard or tedious it is to upload content on the institution repository, hence the need to create self-archiving tools that will help authors to be able to upload content on their own. The third paper is talking about decentralizing the upload of content on the institutional repository. Uh, basically, this paper tries to address the need to create tools that will help individuals, authors, lecturers, and students to be able to upload content on their own on the institutional repository without waiting for librarians and other library staff to upload the work. My name is Elijah Chileshe, and I'm going to present on the proposed solution. The proposed solution states that it involves implementing third-party self-archiving tools that shall help increase the practice of self-archiving in institutional repositories by researchers, faculty members, and the students at large. And what this means is that the third-party self-archiving tools that we shall implement are going to enhance self-archiving by reducing the time it takes to upload content. As of now, the University of Zambia faces one major problem 
uh, one of the problems that the University of Zambia faces is that the amount of time taken to deposit digital content to the repository is quite long. Therefore, the third party self archiving tools that we shall implement shall reduce the amount of time it takes to deposit digital content into the institutional repositories. Then the third party self archiving tools shall also reduce the biasness towards institutional repositories since a lot of people have got negative views towards institutional repositories. They believe institutional repositories are quite complex to use, therefore, other people avoid um, using the institutional repositories. Therefore, these third parties of archiving tools shall also reduce the biasness towards institutional repositories by enabling people to easily deposit content into the repositories. Then it goes on to say the implemented third party self archiving tools shall interact with the institutional repository by depositing digital content into the University of Zambia's institutional repository. And the third party tools that we shall implement shall include web based application tools as well as mobile application tools. And since these two shall have to interface with the institutional repository, here's a data flow diagram that explains the process of depositing content into the institutional repository of the University of Zambia. So the user shall have to log into the self archiving tool. Then once they log into the self archiving tools, the user shall then have to select the content that they want to upload. And after the user selects the content that they want to upload, they'll upload the digital content onto the self archiving tool. Then once the self archiving tool has got the digital content uploaded to it, it shall then deposit the content onto the institutional repository. Then once the content has been deposited onto the institutional repository, it shall then be stored onto the database at the institutional repository of the University of Zambia. Now I'll let my colleague take it up from here. All right, okay. Uh, taking it up from my colleague Elijah, my name is Victor Mola, and I'm going to lay, uh, take a, a walk us through some procedures and methods. Okay, so under procedures and methods, uh, there are a couple of things that I'm going to talk about. The first one being a uh, research research approach sampling method as well as data collection data analysis as well as uh, some aspect of the project management all right i'm not going to dwell much into the literature reading because this has already been outlined by the third presenter so i'm going to go ahead and talk about the literature approach okay so for us as a team we've selected the qualitative tough one approach because the research that we're conducting has 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 a lot to do with the interaction between us and our stakeholders. So the, the, the qualitative type of an approach is going to help us collect data that we need to create this type of a software. All right, so drifting away from that, I'm going to talk about the sampling method that we decided to like uh, use as a team. And this uh, came to came came to, to stand that we're going to use the probability type of non-probability type of sampling. Uh, for, for the reason that it helps us or let us pick specific individuals that are going to use for this project. In this case, we've, we've selected to come up with uh, the, 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 the approach of, you know, grouping the people into non-expert as well as uh, expert uh, individuals. And for that, we've selected uh, two lecturers as well as a uh, you know, four students that are going to help us to, to gather the information, which is going to be more like be used in the data analysis. And then the process of data analysis, we've come up with uh, two software tools that we're going to do the data analysis for this. Uh, the first one being uh, a track drift, and the other one uh, being uh, audio narrative software tools. And uh, drifting off from this as well, I'm going to talk about uh, the project management. All right, so the project management uh, processes that we came up with uh, were the work breakdown structure, the, the timeline, the RASI matrix, uh, and I'm going to talk a bit about the ethical consideration that we came up as a, as a, as a team. So talking about um, the, the work breakdown structure shows really the, the structure of how um, certain information or how the project is going to be broken down into uh, structures and um, uh, when you say about the, the, the timeline itself shows when uh, the project is starting and when the project is going to end and the, the RASI matrix are the far end there shows um, who is responsible for which task, who is to inquire and all, and all that. And um, 
in this in this same uh, slides, there's uh, an aspect of ethical consideration which are going to be embedded in it. So uh, uh, the viewers could only uh, view this. I'm going to pass this to the next presenter for for for, for them to talk about probably the conclusion of this uh, conversation presentation. Thank you very much. So uh, we would base uh, the conclusion of this entire presentation uh, basing it on the uh, explanation of the third party self archiving software tool that shall be implemented and how they shall help in the advantages of all the users in the institutional repository. So in short, uh, the presentation of this project was based upon us coming up with a self archiving software tool which is going to enable the increase of digital content in the institutional repository. Thank you.